Hello everyone. In the previous video, we make this figure with the help of absolute coordinate system. And in this video, we are going to make this figure with the help of relative coordinate system. So before starting, please see my initial video of relative coordinate system in which I explained everything about relative coordinate system that how to select the coordinates of particular points. In this video, I'm just going to make this figure with the help of relative coordinate systems and commands in AutoCAD. To start with, first I select the line command. So once you select the line command, in the command line bar, it will ask you specify first point. So first point is always your origin. So you have to see which point is your origin. So I will consider a point, a point as my origin, 0, 0. When I enter it, your line is going to be made. Now you are going to make a AB line. So in the relative coordinate system, you have to make the coordinates of B point with the help of at the rate. So in the command line bar, you have to write at the rate and then coordinates of point B. Now B point coordinates are 200, 0. So your line has been made like this. So what is the importance of this at the rate? When you make at the rate in the command line bar, the previous point becomes the origin. Now you will understand when I make the coordinates of C, the coordinates of C are when you make the at the rate, just write down at the rate. When you make at the rate, your B point becomes origin for point C. Now the coordinates of C are, there is no movement in X direction because B is the origin now. So 0, comma, and what could be that movement of Y? That is 150. So 150. Just enter. Now you can see your BC line has been made. Now for point D, if you put at the rate over here, C point becomes the origin for point D. Now the coordinates of D are, so you can see there is no movement in Y direction, only movement in X direction. So your X is how much it moves to left side. It is moving negative X axis as per the Cartesian system. So it is minus 80, comma, 0. Enter. Just see this, my CD line has been made. Now for the E point, if I am putting at the rate as per relative coordinate system syntax, the coordinates of E now is, there is no movement in X direction. So X is zero, comma, what could be the Y? So Y is, you can see this, it comes down 90. Y would be a minus nine zero. So in the Y axis, when you come downside, it could be a negative one because your D point is the origin. Now you will going to be left side. First of all, you have to find out the dimension of EF over here. The dimension could be a AB minus CD. So FE line could be a 120. What could be the coordinates of F? Just putting at the rate. By making at the rate, E point becomes origin for point F. Now you will see you move towards the negative X axis. So minus 1, 2, 0, there is no movement in Y. So comma 0, that's it. So you can see this is my line. So now you are coming back towards your origin. There are two ways to come back to your origin. You can also write 0, comma 0 over here without at the rate. You can also take at the rate, like I am going to take over here. So at the rate. So what could be the dimension of AF? You have to find out that. So, so that could be a 150 minus 90 means BC minus DE. So that could be a 60. So there is no movement in X. So 0 comma minus 60. So that's it. It is very easy to make the figures with the help of relative coordinate system. You can check the dimensions with the help of dimension command. So say this. This is 150. Again, take a dimension. And this is 80. So in the same way, all dimensions are same as per the right side figure. So students, if you have any query related to relative coordinate systems, you can comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe my channel for the more videos like this.